Hi everyone, we are at CR Space 2024 in the US. And Lockheed Martin this morning unveiled the MECO. It is a new multi-role hypersonic missile. To find out more, I am meeting with Rick Loy. He's a former F-14 Tomcat pilot and the program manager for MECO, this uh, missile. Rick, good afternoon. Hi, good, good afternoon, Xavier. Very nice to meet you. Likewise, uh, and thank you for your time uh, to answer a few of my uh, questions. So what can you tell us about this uh, new hypersonic missile? Oh, it's uh, very exciting. Its uh, key characteristics are it's very fast, so hypersonic weapon. Uh, it's affordable, producible, it's survivable, and it's lethal against a broad target set. Uh, hypersonic meaning uh, what kind of uh, speed? Sure, in general hypersonic threshold there is about Mach 5, which is about 50 miles per minute. And what are the advantages uh, of uh, such speed for the, for the missile? Sure, time to target is always very important and then also you'd have enhanced uh, survivability because there's less time for a threat to respond. When did you start uh, development on, uh, on MECO? About seven years ago, we started with internal investment, and we've had several contracts since then to, to continue the development of this weapon. And uh, so CR Space is a Navy show, so you're pitching this to the, to the Navy? It is. There are several Navy customers that are interested in hypersonic capability naturally, and they are looking at MAKO as an alternative. So that includes uh, the U.S. Navy, but also uh, U.S. Allies, allies and partners? Yes, absolutely. Uh, the world is interested in hypersonic capability and we are interested in providing it to them. What makes uh, MECO multi-role? Uh, it's multi-platform to start with. So pretty much if a platform has 30 inch lugs, this weapon will fit onto that platform. And for platforms like the F-35 that has an internal weapons bay, it can fit inside that F-35 internal weapons bay. But more about the multi-role is holding multiple targets at risk. So an air crew can have one weapon to service multiple targets during one flight. And that includes, uh, so what are we talking about, like land-based target, uh, maneuver maneuvering uh, ships at sea? Yes, both of those. Uh, certainly designed for a counter-air defense role to take down an, an integrated air defense. Uh, but if the target is on the ground or at the sea and moving, it can address that target. Uh, we are not on the Lockheed Martin booth, we are on the Co-Aspire booth. Can you share with us uh, what uh, Co-Aspire is? Sure. Co-Aspire is a small company that we've been working with for several years. And uh, we enjoy working together with them. Uh, they have certain capabilities that uh, work well with Lockheed Martin and this is one of them. Uh, last but not least, what's, the, what's next for the MECO program at uh, Lockheed Martin? Well, we're here at, at a conference and uh, we're looking to, to garner that interest and continue the development of this weapon, ideally to prototype, but this, this weapon is uh, ready to fly, it's ready now, and it's ready to go and scale into production quickly. Rick, thank you very much. Thank you, Xavier.